Happy New Year, everyone. Adam Workman from Flutistry here. In addition to our goal of funding a BIPOC recording project with the Flutistory campaign, we wanted to ask questions that could help each of us to take a moment and reflect on how we got started on the flute, why we still play, and to highlight the journey of our fellow flutists along the way. While we hope anyone so inspired posts their flutist story each month, if you have found yourself even thinking about what your answer would be, then Fluta Story is serving its purpose. Along those lines, this month's Fluta Story question is, what one word or message is a source of strength for you and why? This question came to me after having the privilege to observe you, our remarkably resilient flute community, over the last two years. Whether you are a professional or enthusiast, every flutist, performer, teacher, student, composer, ensemble, flute maker, or dealer like us have all had to face the existential impact of COVID in nearly every realm of our lives, particularly its impact on our livelihood. And all this at a time in our history when we most need to embrace our heart song. Therefore, my word for this month's flute story question is persist. Sometimes I think of us artists like a frog staring longingly at the other side of a pond covered in beautiful lily pads. No matter how far away that other side may be, and no matter how desperately we want to safely get there, the only thing we can do is to make that first leap onto one of the lily pads that is right in front of us. Doing so again and again might not be the easiest route, nor the one we thought we'd take, but eventually we might just get there, and an unexpected journey with many tales to tell will have unfolded in front of us. Perhaps we might even discover an entirely new destination from a fresh perspective in the middle of our pond. I am perpetually learning from each of you. Witnessing how you pivot, innovate, and evolve in your creative authenticity is honestly one of my greatest joys, helping me and so many others to feel less alone in the chaos. And that is something that I will always be grateful for. Please allow me to humbly reflect your brilliance back at you and cheer you on in your journey. And when it's the right time for you, look for your next lily pad and take a leap to persist in your heart song. We look forward to learning what your word or message of strength is. I truly thank you all from the bottom of my heart. Stay safe and play on.